Hi, I am Zombie here with Weird Girls, and here I have Doug, who's working on a really cool product called Face Shift. Doug, could you talk a little bit about your product? Yeah, we make software that tracks facial expressions of people. Primarily what we're showing today is a uh, software that's aimed at animation studios and game developers who want to make the characters look and behave like real people. This kind of stuff was incredibly difficult five years ago. Uh, you'd spend $600,000 worth of equipment, none of it would work in real time, and you still wouldn't know what happens in between the little dots you put on someone's face. Now we get this really dense information about what someone's face is doing, and we can, we can uh, capture very nuanced performances of what they're doing. So you were talking about the dots on the faces. Usually with motion capture, when you see uh, the behind the scenes in movies, you see those little dots on the people's faces. And I'm looking at your software, and I'm not seeing any little dots on uh, the person when they're actually acting. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we're a dot-free technology, basically. Um, instead of using dots and expensive cameras to try to triangulate the position of those things, we use uh, what more or less is a Kinect camera. So it's like a uh, depth sensing camera that gives you uh, much more detail about the entire surface of your face, so you can tell what happens in between those dots. Um, we also use the uh, video image that comes off that as well, so we track every pixel and all of the depth that is happening in real time. So would this be primarily used for cinematics in games, or what is it going to be used for exactly? I think right now, uh, we have a number of big game studios and some anim animation and visual effects studios that are using it, and right now they are um, creating content. And that could be in cinematics, it could be used in gameplay. But the exciting thing for us is what's going to happen in about two years. Um, for instance, PrimeSense, the people who made the original Kinect hardware and licensed it to Microsoft, announced at CES last year a tiny version of this camera behind me that does the same thing. I mean, it's like a Wrigley's gum wrapper size that could be embedded into a tablet. And before that actually came to market, Apple bought them. So we think Apple, you know, and other companies like them are going to be embedding these into consumer devices, into tablets, into laptops, uh, into phones over the next couple years. And we want to be able to enable game companies to build games that allow game players facial expressions to be on their game character in real time. So the most important question, um, do you think that we could try it out? Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Awesome. We need to do like a one time five to 10 minute training process. Okay. And it teaches our software the shape of your face uh, and what you look like when you make different expressions. And then once you've done that, it gets saved out as a file. You could come back a month from now, you could load it up and we could have some more fun. So this is like a depth map that we're capturing of you in real time. So it tells, tells me about the surface of your face and your hair and it gets your neck and so on and so forth. On the left side, what you're seeing is our kind of default tracking model. And with one button, I will begin to make it uh, appear more like the shape of your face. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> That is... And once we have those expressions, we can put those onto a wide variety of different targets. Um, you, could, you could control a non-human character, for instance. There's a, a pug, which people like quite a bit. I've always wanted to be a dog. Pug. A little bit. We've had people that have controlled MIDI sliders and actually made music with their face. So entire kind of musical thing using facial expressions, for instance. How would you make music with facial expre expression? Well, if you look in the bottom right corner of our software, you see what looks like an equalizer. Okay. You, those are zero to one values for each of your facial expressions. How much you're smiling, how much your eyebrows moving, how much you're sneering, all in real time. And um, 30 times a second, we're twiddling all of those so that it, it matches all of the depth information that we're getting from our camera. But these are zero to one values. It's like little bits of lightweight data that you could hook up to anything. And you could, um, you could transmit it around the world and hook it up to uh, you know, a sound controller. You can, um, I don't know, you could, you could, people are really creative. There's an uh, exhibit in a Moscow museum that looks like a, uh, a landscape painting. It's, like a, it's really a flat screen with a beautiful frame around it. And inside the frame is one of these sensors. And that landscape photo, you walk up to it, and immediately our software starts tracking your face. And if you move your head, it changes the orientation that you're looking at the landscape photo. If you go and blow, snow blows up over the mountains. If you close your eyes, it becomes nighttime, and so on and so forth. Wow, that is incredible. This, is, this just blew my mind, I'm not going to lie. Really amazing work. Thank you so much for talking with us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you again soon.
ไป